Hi, this is Marty from Scheller's Fitness and Cycling, and I want to take a few moments today in this video to talk to you a little bit about one of the most overlooked maintenance items on the treadmill, and that's lubricating between your belt and deck. Every treadmill uh, has lubricant applied to it when it's new, and it's important to reapply this lubricant because over time it dissipates. Now, depending on your machine uh, and how you're using the machine, the frequency may vary, and we would encourage you to refer to your owner's manual for specifics if you have that owner's manual. Your owner's manual will trump anything we might suggest in this video. However, for the most part, um, lubricant can be done on an annual basis or twice a year, depending on your frequency of use. More frequent, heavier use twice a year, uh, more uh, typical use once a year. Now, modern treadmills use a uh, liquid, liquid type uh, lubricant, uh, and you would also want to be certain that your treadmill calls for this particular type of lubricant because you wouldn't want to mix and match. If your treadmill uses, say, a wax-based lubricant, you wouldn't want to use the liquid. But most modern treadmills are using the liquid lubricant. Now, the great thing is, is that if you have one of our lube kits that you can buy either in our retail store uh, retail stores or on shellers.com. This is really an easy process. It doesn't take very much time. It doesn't take any special know-how uh, outside of just watching this video to be able to, to do this uh, chore once or twice a year when the time comes. So if you have one of our kits, it's really a very straightforward uh, item. It's uh, three basic things. It's the liquid lubricant, it's an applicator wand with an applicator pad, and then also our written instructions, so you don't have to necessarily have this video handy when you're doing your uh, lubrication. You can refer to those written instructions. So let's just take a minute to show you how to do this. This is really quick, it's really easy, and we'll just go into the details. So uh, you start with your liquid lubricant, and in this particular vial, there's enough for probably two or three applications. On Shellers.com, you can also buy additional containers of, of lubricant. The whole system, in addition to the liquid, um, to the additional containers, is very economical in the bigger scheme of things. Uh, so you can get more lube there if you like as well. So the first thing that you want to do before you lube your treadmill, it's important to make sure that you've unplugged it from the wall. The treadmill should not be running. It should not be plugged in whenever you're doing this. Um, and get prepared in that way. Now, uh, we're not going to literally lubricate this treadmill. It's a brand new machine, and you can over lubricate, so we're not going to apply lubricant to this treadmill today. So I'll kind of I'll kind of give you a mock demonstration. If I were lubricating it though, I would take a bath towel or some other kind of towel, I'd lay it on each side of the treadmill. Uh, the lubricant is not something that you want to um, to spill, to get uh, to get on your carpeting, things like that. So it's good to take some precautions in, uh, in controlling where this lubricant goes. Also, you want to ensure that the lubricant doesn't go on top of the belt as well. It's slippery, that's its job, so you want to keep it off the surface of the belt. If it does get on the surface, use some denatured or isopropyl alcohol to clean it off. So to get started, you just take your lube, open the top up. This particular bottle has a flip top. And you're going to place uh, probably four lines, if you will, of lubricant on the applicator pad. And what you want to do is get that applicator pad initially loaded up with the lubricant. Once you've done that, place two more lines, if you will, of, of lubricant on the pad. And that pad should be saturated, not dripping, but it should be saturated. Take your lube, place it off to the side. And then when you get to the top of your treadmill, on, on virtually every treadmill, you'll notice that between the straddle cover and the belt, there's usually a small gap, about a finger width, where you can get your thumb underneath the belt and you can pull that belt up. You can be somewhat aggressive with this belt. Uh, the belts are very durable as a rule and you can move it around fairly easily. Pull that belt up, you're going to take your applicator loaded with the silicone, and you're going to take the applicator, pad down, and you're going to place it right between the belt and the deck. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to wipe this applicator along the deck of the treadmill and what I'm trying to do is offload the lubricant onto the deck and I'm concentrating on this area where my feet make contact with the belt where I'm walking. So a couple of passes to offload that, lift the belt back up, get your lubricant once again, reload this pad. Uh, three or four uh, total uh, swipes of the lubricant on the pad, move to the other side of the treadmill, re-lubricate or lubricate the opposite side as well, uh, and then you're finished. Now, when you're done with that, 
plug the machine back in, power it up, start it up, and walk the lubricant in for maybe two or three minutes. Um, and you can walk it in at two or three miles an hour. If you want to just do your regular workout, your regular run or walk after that, that's fine too. Um, the plastic bag that the applicator comes in, recommend that you place it back in the bag. It's just a good way to keep it from, uh, from getting other things where you might have that lubricant stored, that wand stored. So again, you can buy the kit on shellers.com. You can buy it in our retail stores. It's a very inexpensive tool to use, and um, uh, uh, the, the wand will last you indefinitely. It'll last you the life of the machine. And it makes it very easy for, uh, for you to do this once or twice a year to keep your treadmill running well and keep it healthy over time. Thanks for watching, and uh, we look forward to seeing you on shellers.com.